Hi guys, well today Intel has unveiled the next generation of high-end desktop processors, codenamed Broadwell E. Now these new chips uh, follow on from Haswell E, which hit the uh, shelves back in 2014. So in today's video we're going to be checking out these two new chips here, which is the Core i7-6900K and the Core i7-6950X. The uh, 6900K being an 8-core chip, while the Extreme Edition is the company's first 10-core processor for the desktop. Now the prices for these two new chips here are as follows, make sure you're sitting down for this. The 6900K is £839, just under $1,000, 6950X, £1,300, $1,600, so yeah, pretty pricey. Uh, you may need to sell an organ or two to afford these. Uh, so the other thing is that uh, from these, uh, this family, there's going to be other models in the series launching today. We're going to be checking out those at a later stage. I guess really the important thing to say really is that uh, for all these new chips here, there is no new socket. Uh, so we're still using the X99 chipset. It's still got plenty of juice left in the tank. And actually some brands have uh, refreshed their new uh, boards. Uh, this one here we've actually reviewed just recently. We'll pop a link to that in the description very soon. So uh, today we're going to be checking through uh, the technical details, uh, revealing the benchmarks and giving a verdict at the end. You know, telling you guys what we think of this new release. Now if you guys are wanting a bit more detail and uh, perhaps the overclocks, the benchmarks, then please head over to the full review which is going to be in the description. Okay, so let's begin by having a look at the actual processors themselves and run through some of the essential features. So looking at the Broadwell E chips next to the 5960X, that's Haswell E, the overall size is obviously the same, but the heat spreader is slightly different. It extends out there onto all edges. So with these processors being designed for LJ 2011 version 3, we've got the same socket being used as last gen, so they are the same dimensions. And over on the reverse of the Broadwell E CPUs compared to Haswell E, we've got the same contact pad layout. But with the Broadwell E, we definitely have a greater number of capacitors there and an overhaul to the circuitry. Okay, so let's get down to business and talk about the specifications. So turning to the 6900K first of all, we've got a base clock there of 3.2 gigahertz, eight cores and 16 threads with a massive 20 meg of smart cache and support for up to 40 PCI Express 3.0 lanes, something which will be quite significant nowadays with various storage standards now using PCI Express. And with both chips, we now have Turbo Boost 3 technology, which should see better single-threaded and multi-threaded performance. And incidentally, hyper-threading is supported too, and the max TDP for both chips is 140 watts. Okay, and now onto the 10-core beast, that is the 6950X. So with this chip, we've got a base clock of 3 gigahertz, slightly lower than other models in the series, uh, but you come to expect that based on the caliber of this chip. We have 10 cores, 20 threads, which come with a huge 25 meg of smart cache. So that extra cache, the threads, the cores, is going to allow you to store and access more data, and it will translate to faster performance in certain applications. And the obvious platform for such a process is content creation. So we're talking editing, 4K content, image manipulation, 3D rendering, music creation, and of course, it is the year for VR, and this 10-core chip is going to play a pivotal role in such an arena. Now again, if you want to know how these processors perform, head over to the full review, but uh, in terms of the overclocking, we actually managed to hit 4.4 on both chips as a maximum. Anything more was simply not possible due to the amount of voltage needed and the sky-high temperatures. So not as impressive as the previous 5960X, but uh, with the specified base clocks, those overclocks though represent 37% and 46% increase, which we're not going to moan about at all. And another thing just to mention is that BCLK is unlocked, so you can modify that, and we also have per core overclocking, AVX offset, and VCCU voltage control. So all the tools are there to tinker with the performance. So to finish things off, we're now going to show you guys what kind of performance you can expect from these two CPUs. And to test them out, we've used the ASUS X99 Deluxe 2, and the full spec will drop in the description. So for the benchmark comparison, we've compared it to the previous generation of the 5960X and last year's Skylake 6600K and the 6700K. So this should give you a nice overview.
So that completes our look at these new Broadwell eCPUs. Both chips are kind of at the upper end of the range and therefore they're going to have that respective price tag. Um, you know, Intel can pretty much charge the prices that they want because AMD are nowhere to be seen and with little to no competition, they're pretty much free to charge what they like. Uh, though, you know, with that uh, 6950X, uh, there is no denying how powerful and how relevant it is once you start applying it to ultra demanding type tasks, which require multi-threaded capabilities, 4K content creation, uh, 3D rendering and the like. Uh, so if you are you know, the type of user who generally just uh, plays games, uh, browses the internet, then X99 and Broadwell E are going to kind of be overkill for your type of situation. You know, Skylake is more than adequate for that type of usage where there is a focus on gaming, a bit of editing and day-to-day uh, -day type tasks. So guys, as always, the full review for both of these Broadwell E CPUs here is going to be on the screen in the description very soon. You know, granted, we can only kind of cover certain things in this video, uh, so go over there if you require more detail. So we hope you enjoyed today's video guys, if you did then please hit that like button, uh, please continue to support the channel by subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.